Philip, disappointment now, I'm sure, losing in three sets to Istamin. Did you feel you had your opportunities? I did. Um, definitely felt like I was going to win in that third set. Uh, I was controlling most of the points, and just a couple of loose mistakes. Had a se couple of second serves at love 15, 15, 30, that kind of stuff, and never got that one little, little big point to get me up in those games. And I mean, a couple of mistakes in that 3-4 uh, game cost me, and... I mean, obviously, you got that net cord on break point, but I mean, I, uh, I should be just as angry at myself for not putting it away because I had a short ball. So, Philip, how much have you learned? You're the youngest player in the straw. Your first Masters 1000 event, your first win over a top 40 opponent. You were down a set, came back and forced a third. What have these days taught you here as you get into the main draw of your first Rogers Cup? Well, the main thing, it showed me that I didn't have too much trouble keeping up with these guys. I just played the way. I usually do. I didn't play out of my comfort zone, didn't try to do anything spectacular. I just played solid and and that was enough to I mean beat Neiman and he retired, but obviously uh I mean I tried to give myself uh some credit in that one. But uh and here I had my chances just as much as he had and he just got that one break point uh, that he capitalized on and really it was just that point that I think changed the changed the way the match went and I think that if I just keep working at it, it gives me confidence and shows me that I'm on the right track. So, You were telling me on Sunday you were struggling during the futures part of this season. Yeah. You got to the challengers and you just stopped thinking about things and you went out and played. Exactly. At what level is your confidence right now as you get set for the rest of the hardcourt season in the fall? It's very high. Uh, I feel like I can really beat any of these guys that I go out against right now if I just do the right things. I mean, obviously... I didn't get the chance to play Djokovic or any any people like that, but the people I've played so far, I feel like I have a good chance of beating consistently, and that's something that really helps because it just lets me play my game. It doesn't, I don't overthink it, and I just I just play and f trust in my swing, trust in my strokes, and trust in myself that uh, I'm good enough to do it. So. Philip, you're only 19 years old. A heck of a first chapter. Congratulations on a great couple of days. Thanks, Rash.